Hi, my name's Darren. I'm uh, the dock master at a shipyard in Seattle, Washington area. Um, basically, we're across the bay from Seattle. Um, this is a model of a dry dock. This is a good representation to show you how we would dock a, a ship in one of our dry docks. The dry dock is basically just a giant hole in the ground where the ship is going to go into to get maintenance done on it. This section of the model represents the bay where the ship is tied up to the pier. This part of the model represents a dry dock. The dry dock has the blocks that hold the ship up. They fit the shape of the bottom of the boat exactly. Um, this would represent what's called a caisson. It's a floating vessel that can come and get out of the way. So the basics of the, the docking operation is you would start by building the dock setting, the blocks that hold the ship up. These are constructed in the dry dock. Theron here does a lot of that work constructing the dock settings, if you wanna. Yeah, my guys are in charge of building the, the wooden blocks that cradle the bottom of the ship. So when it comes in, it has a nice cradle to sit in. And my guys are also in charge of, while they're moving the ship into dry dock after we pulled the case on, and the water levels are the same, is monitoring where, where the ship's at so we can get it over that cradle and set it down in the right place. All right, well, let's start talking about how to actually get that boat from floating in the water to on the blocks in the dry dock. So to start with, once the, the blocks are all built to height, they're all checked and verified by our docking officers to make sure that every block is built within a perfect tolerance to fit the shape of that boat. And then the next thing we got to do is we got to fill up this dry dock. So to flood the dry dock, you basically are going to open up gates, what we call them our floodgates. And they would be right here on each side of the dry dock where you'd open up a big giant gate that would let the water flow into the dry dock. You want me to simulate that? So that can be simulated here with the fill pump. So when we fill our dry dock, it takes probably two hours to get the dry dock filled up just from the, the pressure of the water pushing up against this hole in the ground. It flows in, it takes about two hours to get the dock all the way filled up. What you're trying to do is make the water level in the dry dock the same as the water level in the bay. So once you get to that point, which we call that equalize the dry dock. That means you just got the same amount of water here as you do here, which we're getting really close to right now. Once that process is completed, then you can go start moving the caisson out of the dry dock. So this caisson is basically a big giant, it's an actual vessel. It has pumps and valves and check valves inside of it. Three different tanks in it. It's got a trim tanks on each end and one big tank in the middle. The pumps turn on inside this caisson and the caisson just starts to slowly float up, out, and it gets where you pump all the water out of the caisson, it actually floats up out of its key. Once that's done, then you can float the caisson over to the pier to get it out of the way. And then that'll be tied up over here on the pier. After that, we'll go to the boat. So Theron, if you want to take over what we would do with the boat. So pier. we take the boat off the pier and we use uh, little tugboats to hook up to the ship so we can push it out. So about this time, uh, my guys have scopes that are kind of like a, a telescope with a crosshair in it that they monitor where this is sitting and we slowly bring it into the dry dock and get it centered over the build. And we can tell where that is by using those scopes that I was talking about. At this point, we'll tie the ship in place and then reinstall the case on. So once that boat is in over the blocks in just the right spot, then our whole team comes back here, grabs the case on, we untie it from the pier using them same little tugboats. We bring the case on back around and we get it placed in position 
where it's in just the right spot. Once it's in just the right spot, then there's what's called a sinking valve in there, which is pretty simple. You just open the sinking valve, which causes the caisson to sink down in position. Once this caisson gets almost set all the way down, then you got to go to the pump house. So the pump house kicks on pumps just as the caisson gets down. And what that does is the water in here now is higher than the water in here. So that gives pressure on this caisson to keep it down and locked into place. Then we slowly pump the dry dock down. It takes about four hours to get the water completely out of our biggest dry dock. Our biggest dry dock, dry dock six, holds like 88 million gallons of water at our high tides here, which is equivalent to fitting, you could have nine football teams playing football games in the bottom of that thing all at the same time. That's the size of it. So as we are pumping the water out of the dry dock, again, Theron, you want to talk about how... So as the ship comes down, <clears throat> we'll continue to monitor and talk to the rigging team that has ropes tied up <clears throat> on all sides of the ship so they can position it where we tell them to position it at. And as the ship comes down, it slowly just fits right into that cradle. This, this whole evolution, it, it takes a while to pump down. So we monitor it nice and slowly, keep control of it the whole entire time. We have to keep that ship level the whole time. We have to keep the list down to zero, the trim down to zero, so it lands correctly. Our landing, what we call parameters, there we got to get this ship landed within two inches of every position. It's centered on the blocks, got to be within two inches in every position all the way around. Once landed, we'll actually stop pumping the dry dock. And this is a point in time where we got to hook up all the services that the ship needs to run before we can finish pumping the water out of the dry dock. So power gets hooked back up to the ship, water gets hooked up to the ship, all the services that they need before we can remove the rest of the water out of the dry dock and take it out. Once the hookups are complete, then we'll re-pump the dry dock to get the water completely out. And at that point, we can turn the dry dock over to the project to go to work on the ship. Right, right near the end of the pumping down process, uh, we'll stop for salmon recovery. Uh, we do have what we call a bubble curtain. It pretty much shoots up a bunch of bubbles to keep a lot of the sea life out. But still, if there's any other sea life that is inside, we'll stop at some point and actually recover them and put them back in the bay. All right, so that's pretty much the main process, just a general overview of how you get a ship from a pier into a dry dock for, for doing maintenance on that ship. Um, hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. Yeah, um, thank you. <laughs>